Is there a reliable way to measure the durability of one's natural immunity? Is there a reliable way to measure the durability? Well, here, here's the problem. So there's two ways that you can interpret that question, which is, um, you know, do you have immunity at the moment from having been exposed to COVID in the past? Um, and there are various questions about whether or not, you know, circulating antibodies and such are a, a good measure. Um, but the other, the more, the potentially more interesting question uh, is, is there any way to know, you know, a month out from having had COVID, whether or not your immunity will, um, you know, persist forever as it seems often to do or, if, um, or not. And I don't, I don't think we have an answer to that at all. I, I don't think we have a perfect answer, but I think we have a, a kind of way in. First of all, I would say okay. antibodies are certain to be a terrible measure, right? That this yeah. is, we have been sold the idea that antibodies are the end all and be all of immunity by people who just so happen to be in the business of selling crappy vaccines that generate a temporary boost in antibodies. So anyway, um, that's a sales pitch and we should get over it. The best immunity comes from T cells, which have something antibody-like on their surface, but you can't just go in and measure the T cells in the same way that you can measure the circulating antibodies. So antibodies- Do we have a good measure? No, that's the problem is that actually it's a tricky question. So um, we can measure antibodies easily and so we choose to measure. It's a, it's a tyranny of metrics thing, right? Um, anti antibodies are easy to measure, but they also as a function of a healthy response to a pathogen with which you have been infected will drop precipitously after that infection, right? Because if your immunity has uh, been housed over in T cell land where it is best, <clears throat> then the point is those antibodies, you know, there's some optimal level and it's not a high number. So you expect antibody levels to drop. Um, so anyway, the point is what you want to know is, is your durable immunity there and how permanent is it, which is going to be a function of a couple things. One, how good is the memory on the immune system side? And two, how rapidly changing is the pathogen so that the memory is actually useful, right? So the evolution of a pathogen can cause a you know robust immune response to be irrelevant because by the time you get your next encounter, it doesn't look the same. So what you want to know <clears throat> is of, across a population, we should probably assume something like a normal distribution, or maybe it's a power law that would describe how long people's immunity lasts, right? And so if the immunity is not going to be very long lasting for a given pathogen and its interaction with the immune system, then you would expect some people to get readily reinfected, right? People who were on the low end of that distribution, they should be very vulnerable to a second infection. Mm -hmm. To the extent that you have few documented cases of anybody getting a second uh, infection, then that suggests it's likely to be very long lived because that tail of the distribution is all, all also very well protected. So that's not a perfect proxy, but that's how I would look at it complex systems wise. Well, but I mean, there's also the question of how distantly related is the virus that you are now exposed to from the virus that you have immunity to. So if, you know, if, if Omicron is so different from Delta, uh, that, uh, you know, the anecdotal reports that we hear of people who were sick last summer and then again sick a month ago are true. Um, that, you know, that is consistent with actually you won't get Delta again. But right. um, but Omicron m might, you know, put forth a, a new form um, that you could be susceptible to because it's different enough from the one that you now have natural immunity to. Yeah. I mean, that, I think that's a different way of saying the same thing about the rate of evolution of the pathogen. The, the basic point is immunity depends on similarity between right. the thing that you became immune to and the thing that you encounter and a rate of change that is sufficient will outstrip that at some point. 